everyone, it's Lou here and welcome to our live Q&A today with the beautiful Claire Eastman. Um, I hope you are having a fantastic start to the week. Let's just straighten this up here. Uh, we'll give everyone a couple of minutes to jump on the call. So in some parts of Australia today, it's a public holiday. Is it a public holiday? It's a little bit controversial. Uh, we have this big horse racing event, Melbourne Cup Day. I forgot that it was on, so I'm working. <laughs> Um, hey Emily, great to have you here. I do remember back in the day though when I used to work in an office. It was, it was kind of fun because we got to knock off work a bit early and have parties at work. <clears throat> um, but these days, it's always a party <laughs> in Lou's office. No, it's not. Um, so if you are doing something fun today, let me know. I know it's still Monday in lots of places in the world. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to say is big welcome. Probably not everyone has jumped across to the new group today because I literally only sent the link out an hour or two ago. Uh, but big welcome to everyone who has joined us from the September Enthusiast course. Congrats on finishing. And it's so great to have you here in the grads group. Um, and also to those that have joined us that have taken part in the baby workshop, the beautiful baby workshop, big thank you to Heidi for that workshop. It was really fantastic. So many gorgeous images from everyone. And it was so fun to get a little behind the scenes and, and learn from you. Uh, so welcome to those that have joined our grads group that have taken part in that workshop. And I know some of you have taken part in uh, early workshops as well. So it's really fantastic to have you here uh, in our grads group, which is a lot of fun. Let's bring Claire onto the call. Mm. It works. <laughs> we always have a backup if it doesn't. Um, okay, we'll wait for it to add. Sorry for the tech part where it takes a little thinking time. Uh, but in other news at Click Club Group, Pam is back. Very exciting. Um, I was probably a little more excited than everyone <laughs> to get Pam back operations are back to normal today although she has taken the day off today so you won't see her around today um our our advanced course so many gorgeous images in the advanced course at the moment we've just wrapped up editing module and we've just started the final module uh where we go into details on different um elements of, ooh, different elements of okay this is me just like hitting heaps of buttons we'll try again <laughs> Um, bringing your vision to life, bringing different elements that you want to have. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Claire, you? Yeah, good, thanks. That's good. Melissa um, has just jumped on and said, big Claire Eastman fan. <laughs> I think we probably got a lot of those. <laughs> so how are you going? I'm really close. Yeah, not too bad. I'm just trying to figure out where to put this, but oh, it's very right. close. <laughs> oh, it totally looks fine. You can lean yeah. it on a surface or something if you want to yeah. hold it. I have oh, one of those. Um, pop, do you have a pop top? Are you, no, um, no. Are you a girl? I should. <laughs> <laughs> All the things that I should have, but yes, I never get around to doing. <laughs> no, that's all right. I yeah. broke for a little while and it was actually crazy because I, I didn't know where to sit my thing. Do you have a laptop? I sometimes sit mine in the base of in like my laptop. Ah, okay. Um, no, I don't have a laptop. I only have the computer. So, um, yeah, no, that's okay. This will be fine. Okay. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, sorry, I didn't know today was cup day. Did you have a public holiday today? No, we have the Bendigo cup holiday now oh. in Bendigo, but people oh. who work in Melbourne and stuff, they often, yeah, they'll have the Melbourne cup holiday. So Got yeah, it. it used to be, but it's changed yeah. a bit. So yeah. Oh. Well, that's the perfect place to start. You're from Bendigo in Victoria. Can yes. you tell us a little bit of an intro on who you are, where you are in the world, and what you do photographically? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm from Bendigo, which is um, it's a rural town. It's probably got about 110,000 people here. Oh. So, yeah, like it's it's not as small as some people think. It's, yeah, quite a, quite a good size. Um, and, yeah, I've been here my whole life. I have done lots of travel, but I've always... Yeah, come back to Bendigo um, and since kind of becoming a mum and stuff, it's a great family town. So, um, yeah, that's that's kind of where I am. Um, it's probably about an hour and a half from Melbourne. Um, oh, okay. that's a 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. So um, since they kind of built the new freeway and everything, it yes, it's not actually doesn't take too long to get there now. So yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The um, being yeah. Like a big city and being regional. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and what were the other questions? <laughs> oh, just what you do. So, what do you photograph yes. and what do you love to photograph? Yeah. So, um, I'm a lifestyle photographer, um, and I love to document lots of moments, um, candid moments with people, um, families, and newborns, um, mainly. Um, and yeah, out, outdoors on location as well. So, I do. Um, yeah, lots of kind of um, in the home photos with people. Um, they're kind of my favourite at the moment. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I suppose just, yeah, lots of authentic kind of natural, candid um, photos. And I think a lot of that has come from having, you know, kids of my own. Mm -hmm. um, I used to, I've always loved photography. Um, and I think I didn't really realise how much I loved it, I suppose, until I, yeah, had kids um when I was younger I used to love flicking through like my family's you know photo albums every time I was at my nana pa's house I just used to get out the albums and you know I remember those times just going to their big cupboard and they'd have yeah all these beautiful old photographs and I'd just flick through them literally every visit um and then throughout school I'd kind of you know dabble in photography a bit um through high school you know I did photography um and where that we kind of did the dark room stuff and all that but I was probably a little bit more focused on you know friends and having fun <laughs> then <laughs> um so um yeah I didn't really take it that seriously but I kind of always segregated back to it and I um yeah like when I used to go out with my friends I was always the one with the camera um that kind of stuff and yeah so I had my daughter Willow in 2004 and uh, 14 and yep. yeah so I um I had this kind of old yeah DSLR in the cupboard that I kind of got out a few times here and there um, and yeah like learnt how to use here and there but I just never really yeah got the hang of using it properly and you know I'd always put it on auto and I wouldn't get the photos that I really wanted to um, and yeah I had this new daughter and I was like I'd really like to learn how to you know actually use this properly and one of my friends, Janelle, she did your course and she suggested it. So, and then I, yeah, actually started to be able to use it properly. And that's kind of where it started. So, yeah. That's exciting. So you took our courses in 2016 and I'm just going to yeah just waving at you. So Tanya's waving. Kristen's <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. From Dublo in New South Wales. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you guys listening. Um, so you took our courses in 2016. Yes. So yeah. Was um two at the time. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. She would have been a bit under two, I think. And um, I had kind of got my camera out, you know, when she was born and given it a go, and you know, tried with friends and things. But I just never kind of got, yeah, what I wanted to. And um, yeah, so that's when I found your course, and it was perfect. So. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and we'd love seeing your work. And you're talking about in home sessions are your favourite at the moment. We absolutely love, you know, the connection that you have in your photos. And thank you. Um, you know, there's definitely a lot of love in them, which I think is beautiful. And we'll come back to talking about that. Yes, um, yeah. But in the so 2016, you did the enthusiast and you did the um, advanced course later that year as well. And yes. So we're now at 2019. You now work for yourself. Yeah, running your photography business. Yes. Um, and did you recently leave your job? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I have been a social worker for around ten years now, and um, yeah, I was working part time um, at the local hospital. Um, yeah, doing social work, and that was point five, so five days a fortnight. Mm -hmm. um, and when I had my second child, Sadie, um, she's now two. Um, I just thought it was a really good time to kind of, you know, take the time and, and grow the, or start a business, grow the business. Um, and I just wanted to see where it, you know, led. Um, and I ended up, yeah, getting quite busy, um, after I joined the Biz Builders group and it really helped kind of, yeah, me get on track with business and yeah, like I, I probably surprised, was surprised that how busy <laughs> I did get. And, um, I just knew like, I took two years off with maternity leave and um, really focused on that and, you know, having more time with the girls at home. Um, and, yeah, I suppose, um, yeah, just 
got really busy and was like, oh gosh, it's been two years and I don't know how I'm going to juggle both the business and working, you know, at the hospital 0.5 because as you know, like running a business is, you know, it's always there and I felt like I couldn't put in what I wanted to, um, you know, with the business if I went back to work. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what happened Um, and, yeah, I'm just working, yeah, it's pretty much full time (laughs) um, on the business now. Yeah, and um, I'm loving it. Yeah, Yeah, and and it's a juggle. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It is you. always a juggle. Um, Kristen yep. says your in-home newborn shoots are absolutely stunning. I definitely agree. They are beautiful. Best thank you. Hello. So I would like to chat a little bit about the sessions you do, just so that yes. maybe people can learn a couple of things from you. The first question I wanted to ask, and we'll come back to the business side, but um, your in-home sessions, you know, you always work really beautifully with light. You position your, even for your fresh 48s as well, which you do yep. in the hospital. A lot of people might be thinking, oh, if I go into someone else's home or I'm shooting in a hospital, it might be really tricky. What are some yep. of the techniques you use to work with the light, um, you know, and work with what you've got to yeah. get such gorgeous shots? Um, well, I suppose when I, when I get to people's homes, you know, I have a bit of a chat and um, get them to show, show them around my, their house usually. And, um, you know, when I'm sending emails to them at the start, I usually kind of prep them to let them know that, you know, I am a natural light photographer. I don't use any flashes or anything like that. So, um, you know, and I usually do work in the rooms that have the most light. So people are usually pretty prepared with that. Um, and then I'll go into their homes and usually gravitate towards the rooms with the most light um sometimes it can be a bit tricky because some some homes aren't um great with light um but yeah it's all about windows for me so I just yeah really gravitate towards those those windows um and yeah making sure um yeah enough enough light is getting to that room if there are some rooms that don't have enough light I just work with it because that's Mm -hmm. just what you've got so I think it is it's just about working with what you've got um and and really making sure for me, you know, you could be in any home as long as you're getting those emotions um, and capturing those moments with people um, is the main thing. Um, yeah, but I do, I do a lot of kind of getting people nice and close to the lights. A lot of, especially with newborns, I'll um, you know get especially mums and dads to kind of move towards the windows and get the close-ups of them kind of you know looking at their baby and and kissing their baby on the head and those kind of shots. So um, yeah, that, and and I suppose it. I probably like more interesting kind of light rather than um, flat light. That's kind of what mm-hmm. I, I gravitate towards. I, I, I like, um, yeah, I suppose, um, yeah, directional light, um, not so much. Yeah, and I, I do love working with shadows and, you know, if there's really harsh light coming through, you know, just in one point in the house, I actually like to work with that um, and I think it can just create some really beautiful images. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really good advice to people. And I think too, um, I like the way you incorporate a lot of the storytelling images. It's not, you know, you yeah. do the close up and the moments, which is really lovely. But I love those pullback shots where you can see someone's living room and the place where they're spending time with their baby. It all tells that lovely part of the story, which I think. Yeah, is really yeah, definitely. And I think I'm, I'm kind of a mix between documentary and lifestyle, I suppose. So. I do, um, I probably do talk too much sometimes when I'm talking to people, but then I have to really pull it back and think, well, yeah, you know, this is their time um, to be present in the moment. And, um, you know, I think we live in such a busy world. It's so lovely to just have a couple of hours for them just to be them, not looking at their phones, um, yeah. doing what they do on a daily basis. Um, and yeah, just embracing that time. So um, I'll do a mix. So I'll, I'll really... I'll kind of warm them up to start with around, you know, um, chatting to them so they're not as nervous um, and, you know, um, yeah, they, they kind of warm up a bit then. And I, I often like the photos kind of more so towards the end of um, the session mm-hmm. because they do relax more um, and, yeah, I suppose they just get more used to the camera being in their face. So, um, yeah, like I'll, I'll just kind of, yes, yeah, I'll pose them a little bit, not much. Um, if I do feel like I look at the photo and they're like, oh, that, you know, that leg looks funny or, um, you know, they're not, something's not quite right, I'll, I'll get them to do, you know, I'll pose them a little bit, but a lot of it is just mainly documentary where I do just, you know, sit back and, and, and let the magic happen. Um, often I'll kind of, yeah, say things like, oh, I'm just checking my settings or um, you guys just do your thing and they might not even know that I'm, 
photographing them and I think they're, yeah. that's when you do get the most beautiful, yeah, perspective, yeah, I suppose. Really so, yeah. I, I would discount, you know, talking to people as well and thinking you talk yeah. too much because really the more, <laughs> you know, they get to know you and feel comfortable, yeah. you know, that's what you're going to show uh, in your photos as well. Tanya says, do you use any specific prompts at all to get the interaction or do you kind of just let um, them what you Yeah, find? look, I probably do with kids more so than anything else, um, you know, especially with newborns. Um, I did a newborn shoot this week and it was, you know, a two-year-old, a four-year-old boy and their new little baby sister. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and it was it was hectic but it's still great. Um and you know, it'd be a lot of you know. Oh, what's does her? What does her? What colours her hair? You know, um, can you touch her nose for me? Those kind of little prompts that you know get them interacting with, with their little yeah sister. So um, yeah, I, I often do that. Those little things, and I think that helps with that's um really yeah getting those moments. So yeah, that's really lovely. So what? Speak while we're talking about your shoots. What do you shoot with? Because everyone likes to know. Yeah, what favorite lens. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm, I shoot with a Canon. I'm a Canon girl. I shoot with mm-hmm. a Canon 6D um, and I have my 35mm um, Sigma Art. Um, yeah. yeah, and I also have a 24 to 70 um, millimeter as well, um, Tamron. So um, I use that mainly. I've you know, done a bit of um, daycare photography recently, so that was really handy for that. Um, and just second shooter at a wedding as well has been really handy to have that one. But, I, yeah, the 35 pretty much doesn't leave my camera mostly um, because most of my, yeah, photos, photography sessions are kind of family and lifestyle and newborn. So, yeah. That's um, really cool. I love it, yeah. And I, I just love that it's kind of what you see um, mm. as well. Like it's not... Yeah, and it's not quite – I used to I, – I do have the 50 millimetre as well. I don't really use that anymore because um, I find it's just a bit hard to get the shots that I need to um, when I'm in the home. Um, mm-hmm. It's a lot easier to use kind of when you're outdoors because you've got more space to move. But I, I find the 50 millimetre a bit difficult to kind of, yeah, um, room-wise. So, yeah. Oh, that's good to know. And so let's just chat about the business side just for a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. Debbie has a really quick, quick question. She says, do you manually set the white balance or use the white balance on auto and tweak in post-processing? Yeah, probably, yeah. So just auto, yeah, and yeah. just tweak it. Yeah, so, um, and I just, yeah, I love editing actually. I I find it quite therapeutic. So I do, um, yeah, I do a lot of that post, yeah, in post-editing. So it's, yeah. That's a good question, Debbie. And, yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes I love, love the sitting down editing phase, especially, you yeah. Know, it's only minor things you do, but it is kind of a, a, like you say, almost therapeutic process to go through and go through. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. And often, like after a session, I'll often um, put them straight onto my computer and just make mm-hmm. sure I've got, you know, I'm happy with them just so I can, you know, sleep like. sleep well that night. And <laughs> be like, if I think it's a terrible, it's, I've never, I won't have a terrible session, but in my head, yeah. sometimes I think it is. And when I get home and make sure, I'm like, oh, yes, good. I've got enough to fill a gallery, so I'll be okay. <laughs> and um, I, I was going to say, I think that's totally normal. And I used to do the exact same thing, but I would usually drive around the corner and sit in yeah. my car. <laughs> yes, yeah. And, and be like, okay. Yeah, I do that. that. Yeah, <laughs> and that's more time. It's also kind of, I find shoots a little bit me time kind of yeah away from the kids and stuff so often I will I'll pull over as well and and have a look just to you know draw that time out that I'm away from home not that I don't love it but it's just a nice break sometimes (laughs) because you never switch off (laughs) yeah uh, that's yeah I always used to organize my sales sessions as well for 6 30 on a weeknight <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> I mean because it was convenient for clients but also I was yeah you know, it's nice to disappear occasionally from uh-huh. them, you know, really. self-care <laughs> yeah. yeah that's awesome so with your business it is exciting that it's taken off in the way that it has what do you if you were sharing some tips with people um do you want to let us know a little bit about what you think you've done that's helped you get so busy so quickly or different things that yep. you've tried? Um, I think with me, obviously, the Biz Builders Group was um, my lifesaver because it literally came in the time that I was going to be starting this business. And, you know, I was a bit apprehensive and, you know, oh, should I be doing this? I'm an imposter. Do I, you know, I'm not good enough. And oh. all my family and friends were like, you need to be doing this. And, um, yeah, so the first step, like, yeah, it was to – that literally happened when your Biz Builders community kind of started. Um, and, yeah, I 
basically I think the first thing I did was, you know, you said just just start like that's, you know, you're ready to start and you can just tweak it as it goes. And, um, yeah, I did the um, my Facebook kind of business page was my first thing and in the background I was working on my website because obviously that is the most important thing um, to do really. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of where it started. Um, yeah, oh, just trying to think. So after that, yeah, I suppose it was just really word of mouth. Um, I started probably doing a few kind of shoots um, with family and friends um, just to be able to use for my socials and for my um, website. And, um, yeah, I suppose I, 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 that's kind of where it started. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um. Tanya has said essential. Tanya's in our biz builders and Beth said, is there a link? Yes. yes. It's on the, if you go to the Click Club Grow website, Beth, and go to courses, it's linked there, but I'll also link it in the comments at the end of when we're chatting. Um, yeah. And so the biz builders, just for anyone that don't, doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really post links to it as often as I should, but the biz builders is um, a whole series of trainings on different aspects of setting up your business. So marketing and sales and confidence and mindset and then we have a weekly oh, sorry a monthly q a call this month i haven't told everyone but we've got a guest speaker coming in to talk about the essentials of customer service and how to deal with tricky clients and um how to build your skills in working with clients because that one would be fun <laughs> so we have guests <laughs> training sometimes and guest photographers that we talk to um and so claire has been a part of that what is your favorite part or has been part of the business you probably. <laughs> oh, no. I think anytime we're stuck, we, yeah. And obviously just having that community of other, you know, photographers that you can just be like, I've got this issue and, um, you know, and I don't know what to do. And there's always so much ama amazing advice um, from everyone that makes you just feel so much better about it. Um, and, yeah, I, I think obviously all of your lives and the material that, you know, you've provided just about, especially just the stuff around setting up your business and where to start. I think that was, um, you know, my biggest thing. There's so much, many things to do to start and where to go and it just really helped break all that down um, for me. And, um, yeah, I didn't feel as overwhelmed and I always knew I'd have that kind of support with you guys. So, um, yeah, they're probably the main things of yeah, built some really good friendships out of the group as well. So it's been it great. It is an amazing yeah. group. We do have so yeah. many lovely, amazing women in there. Um, yeah. I'm so glad that you've enjoyed it. I definitely, you know, love the community that we have. But it's true, right? It's kind of isolating. Yeah. Not only it is. your business is isolating, yeah. but if you, you know, I still get coaching or I get help with my business and sometimes I'll get feedback and I'll say, I'm sitting at home. Like I am yeah. in the bubble of working by myself. I don't know lots of yeah. things and I remember feeling like that so that's why I wanted to create mm -hmm. it and like you say so many people think that everything has to be perfect before you start yeah. or it can feel yeah. too overwhelming but yeah. it really is start before you're ready you know yeah. nothing is set in stone you can change it as you go yeah. um yeah. so yeah I'm so glad that it's been helpful uh Natasha says will there be a replay I wanted to watch my like, kids have other ideas yes all of our <laughs> chat is featured grads are in the videos tabs or in the units tab. You can go find them, but yes, you can definitely come back. <laughs> if anyone has any questions for Claire about her photography style, I know lots of people said that they would have to your site and loved it, and we already know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Enjoy featuring it. Uh, do you have any, so maybe even not business, but do you have any photography goals or things on your bucket list or different things you'd like to try, like creatively or stylistically? Um, I think I love where I'm at at the moment. Where with It's taken me a little bit of time. I When I first started the business, I kind of was just doing everything. Um, you know, whatever people would ask, I would do. You know, I want to want you to shoot my kid's birthday party. I want you to do, you know, um, you know, even just weddings, it's not really for me. Like I um, I think I've kind of been able to niche down a bit over the last, you know, mm -hmm. year and a half um, and find out what I really want. And it, it is definitely leaning towards the um, in-home shoots. Um, I, I do love, I, I think anything to do with just that intimate kind of watching people in the intimate space is really special to me. 
um, I find people really relax a lot more because they're in their own environment, um, you know, they're more themselves. And kids can, especially kids, because I work with a lot of kids, like I, I find they, are, you know, um, often just can go into their room and start playing and, and mm. you know, that, that really helps, I think, um, yeah, calm them down and it's not something not something they do every day is have a ph- photographer, you know, take photos of them. So, yeah, yeah I just I, I think that really helps. Um, yeah, I, yeah, so I think it is probably more the home sessions and, and niching probably towards the newborn stuff. Um, also, being a mum and stuff, I don't really want my weekends weekends taken up with weddings um, and even outdoor shoots. Often families want them, out, you know, on the weekends, which is fine, but I just find if I can get, you know, more work through the week. It, it just suits me a lot better. Um, and, yeah, if it's something I can love, it's just perfect. So, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, that's part of owning your own business as well is being able to yeah. design around the lifestyle that you want to have. Yeah, and yeah. some people love to work, you know, weekends and then have the weeks at home and then other people yeah. prefer to do their week, their work during the week. And I think you can do yeah. that way and incentivize yeah. and encourage clients. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I think it's worked well. And, um, yeah, I just think it has, like, I think too learning to say no to things that I don't want to do has been mm. a big thing for me. So, um, you know, saying no in a nice way, but just, um, yeah, not agreeing to absolutely everything um, that someone, you know, um, emails me about um, and really just honing in on what I want to do. And the more I post of, you know, the things I want to do, the more interest I'm going to get from those people who want those photos. So um, I think that's been a big thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh, I've got my dog. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's sweet. Hi. Nice as well. On, yeah. the, on the couch, which he shouldn't be, but he knows he's not going to get told off. Yeah. Oh, like, Harry, um, he's trying to get up. <laughs> oh, is he called uh, Harry? Yeah, Harry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I have a Harry, but and when we got our dog, yes. his name was Harry as well. So we oh, really? Painted them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose when you have your fur babies, you call them the names you want to That's kill true. your kids. That's so. True. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Well, someone else named him. We didn't name him, and then name our kid. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he came with his name. Um, yeah. So let's chat a quick moment about editing, because I know people yes. are always curious to know. Do yes. you use any presets? And what's yes. been your kind of like? Has there been a stylistic evolution or yep. a cycle to get where you are now? Um, I, I, um, use the small presets. Um. Yep small O one for my um editing style which I know you don't like. <laughs> um no, no, but I don't dislike presets. Yeah, I, I know. As long as you know how to learning. Yes, hundred percent. <laughs> yes. So I definitely I learned you know um Lightroom through your courses obviously and um had a really good idea of what to do there. When I start getting really getting yeah quite busy I was like I need something that can help with my consistency. Um you know, the time I was spending editing was just taking so long and I was just getting too pedantic about it. So um, I used the small O1 um, as a base, really. Um, but look, it probably looks completely different by the time I'm finished with it. Um, and, yeah, I just probably, yeah, every single image, I don't just put the preset on. Like it's, it's yeah, doing a lot more kind of reducing, you know, maybe reds for baby skin, um, you know, um, that kind of stuff in enhancing um you know, exposure, that kind of thing. So, yeah, um, I'm finding I probably I, – I used to be quite moody with a lot of my photos, and I still am, but I, I feel like I'm probably liking a bit more of a lighter edit lately. I'm not really sure why. It's just kind of changing a little bit. Um, and I do I, – I, I'm probably adding a bit more warmth lately as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but then in saying that, I find every single session that I do, it just depends on, on the light. Um, from their home, um, you know, um, for Fresh Body 8. So it just depends. Like I, I find they often end up moodier probably, yeah, when the lighting is moodier and that's just the feel of what the session was and I want them to remember that. Um, but then I suppose if I walk into a house and it's beautiful and bright and warm, then that's just the way it's going to be too. So, um, uh, yeah, like I, I, I suppose I, I probably stare at my photos a little bit too much sometimes <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I think I have an editing style and I'm sure other people see it, but sometimes oh, I just yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard for me to say, yes, this is what I do myself, but um, it's probably easier for other people to say. But, um, 
yeah, and I'm probably a little less contrasty these days as well. I'm probably, um, yeah, and I don't know. Yeah, I do definitely think it's probably changed a little bit over the time. Um, yeah, but definitely if you have presets, don't just put them on and then just leave it. So yeah. it's definitely, think, it takes me a long time to yeah. <laughs> edit every single image. <laughs> yeah. I think, though, that, that that's an important point is that, you know, your yeah. editing is really just enhancing what was already existing. 100%. And I yeah. think, you know, when I'm nodding and saying you have a style, I think it's very much, it's not just an editing style. It really is a sh yeah. shooting and editing go hand in hand. Because I often hear yeah. people say, how do I edit really dark and moody? Well, it's, you know, the edit is the, is the enhancing what you already have. Yeah. You, want dark and yep. moody, you need to shoot dark and moody. A hundred percent. Yeah. It, as opposed yeah. to it being a purely editing thing. Yeah. Um, and I think um, I don't, I don't love presets that change colors too much. Like I like mm -hmm. to really stick to what the colors were as much as I can. So, um, you know, sometimes certain presets do really change greens a lot. Um, I notice and, you know, when you're at, doors and stuff and I, I just feel like people will look back at that and be like that's actually not the way it looked so I really like to try and keep it true to what it was as much as I can so yeah oh that's awesome Heidi's yeah. just jumped in to say hi she's on a 15 hi Heidi, hi, Heidi. <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> well that is perfect timing uh, I just want to say a really big thank you to you Claire for chatting with us today it's so fantastic thank you <laughs> I feel like I probably had so many more things to talk about, but I just, yeah, I hate talking on video. Oh, my goodness, you're fantastic, actually. Am I? Yeah. Oh, yes. God, so I feel like I had all these other things I could probably could talk about, but I've probably forgotten, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've definitely enjoyed chatting to you. No, you're very easy to chat to, and I've, I've oh, loved good. about <laughs> uh, your experiences, and, you know, the, there's definitely some fantastic tips in there to help and inspire people. So thank you very much for being a part of our community thank you and sharing so beautifully with us thank you so much thanks for having me <laughs> That's all right. and so uh, if anyone's watching and you would like to watch any of our other featured uh grad chats they're all available in the videos tab or head over to the units tab you can find uh lots of fantastic people we've spoken to you can find more of claire's work at claireeastmanphotography.com.au or you can hit her link or hit her profile and she's linked to her business page. So <laughs> thank her you. Um, yeah, and thank you so much. Enjoy the <laughs> thank you. We'll Thanks so much. Child-free today, so it's very exciting. <laughs> My work well, day, go. really. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bye, been lovely. Everyone. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. Bye.